Today we're making chia chocolate mousse over coconut pudding. First, we make the coconut pudding. One fourth a cup of chia seeds. Chia seeds are high in fiber and magnesium. Quarter a cup of coconut milk. Half a cup of almond milk. Teaspoon of coconut or vanilla extract and a tablespoon of agave. You could also use honey, but I like agave because it's a low glycemic sweetener. For the mousse. Fourth a cup of chia seeds. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Tablespoons of agave. A cup of almond milk. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. Into a blender. Add one banana. <laughs> For some crunch, we mix together coconut flakes and walnuts, a pinch of cinnamon, sea salt, a touch of agave. Let it chill overnight and enjoy in the morning. Make a ton because the kids like it too. You're eating my pudding. Sorry. <laughs> cinnamon spice churros with the chocolate dip. Cinnamon spice churros make your taste buds flip. Today I'm going to show you all how to make my new favorite healthy breakfast. Cut up a tortilla or two and then spray with oil and then toast until they're crunchy. And then add some cinnamon and sugar. Then I made a cherry chocolate dip with this and cherry yogurt and it was really good. Then just add any kind of fruit you want on top and I also added some granola and that's about it. I'm going to show you guys how to make really yummy vegan crepes. I already made a batch of them this morning, so I know they're fire. <laughs> like I said, I already made a batch this morning, so I'm just gonna use all the same utensils. Make one vegan egg. I love this egg replacer. Two tablespoons of butter. Mine's Earth Balance. Melted. Half a cup flour. A heaping half tablespoon of coconut sugar. A pinch of salt. Non-dairy milk, and this one's the thickest and sweetest, so I like it. Six tablespoons of that. Three-fourths cup water your melted butter, ooey gooey egg replacer. I'm adding one more tablespoon of the milk and a little less than one teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. Now mix that all up. You wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. I put mine in here so it's easy to pour out. Put your pan on medium, grease it, pour your batter. Once it looks like this, you're ready to go. Add some chocolate chips, banana, and enjoy. <laughs> Okay, honeys, this is the dark chocolate bark of your dreams because it has rose, pistachio, and sea salt. Get your cardamom ground up from the pods because we ain't spice amateurs. Get your pistachios chopped up, melt some dark chocolate over a double boiler with rose essence, coconut oil, and add in your ground cardamom. Pour over a parchment lined baking sheet, spread that out until nice and smooth and even. Try not to look it up. Add your chopped pistachios, some dried rose petals because we fancy, sea salt, refrigerate, cut, and eat. Enjoy. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna make my favorite candy bar, which is a Butterfinger, but I'm gonna make it dairy-free, vegan. Mm -hmm. One fourth cup pure maple syrup. One tablespoon molasses. Make it heaping because that shit thick. And three and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. Put that on medium heat and bring it to a boil while continuously mixing. Okay, once it's boiling, stir that sugar swamp for about a minute, constantly. After the minute, take it off the heat and add your peanut butter or your sun butter if you're allergic to nuts. Lick that spatula, we do not waste peanut butter in this house. Add an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Mix all of that until you have a nice paste. Whew, and I thought that molasses was thick. Add your bran flakes and mix and coat evenly. Yes, I opened the box upside down. You wanna mix it and crunch them up. I like mine extra crunchy, so I'm adding more. Pour it into a pan and pat that shit down. Pour on some melted chocolate and freeze overnight. Mm-hmm.